Hey guys, Dave Panazzo here. I'm going to talk about something that people don't like to talk about, and that's fitness. You see, our new sport is sales. Just like any sport, you have to be fit. Now, I know a lot of you aren't going to want to hear this because there's people that are out of shape and lazy. Dave, what does that have to do with sales? It has everything to do with sales. Now, I'm creeping up on the age of 57, and I have found that my physical fitness represents what I do in my business because I'm able to go longer, I'm able to go harder, I'm able to put in more hours, I'm able to outwork my competition. So let me break this all down for you. I've always been in some type of sport when I was a little kid, growing up through high school, and then I got into the military. Now, you wanna talk about the ultimate fitness, you can't be lazy and overweight in, in the military, okay? It doesn't work. There's PT tests, there's accountability, there's things that you have to do in order to be combat ready. Well, we have to be combat ready for sales. So if you're going to bed late, if you're eating crappy foods, if you're not working out, you're not doing cardio, you're not taking care of your body, you're not going to be able to perform at a high level in sales. So let's break this all down. Over the years, yes, when I got out of the military, did I go through plateaus and ups and downs of being overweight? Absolutely. Just so you guys know, okay, I'm going to be 57 in a few months, okay? I'm not playing around. Here's a picture right here of me about 10 years ago. I know what it's like to be out of shape, lazy, eating crappy foods. That's the old Dave. Now, the new Dave has a completely different look at it because I wanna perform at the highest level I can in sales, in real estate sales. Getting in and out of cars, working late, getting up early, all these things will take a toll on your body. At the end of 2021, I got so sick with COVID that I was in the... Hey guys, I wanna interrupt this video real quick. I am taking on 15 people, only 15, to work on mindset, leads, anything relating to real estate, life. Shit, I've been married 33 years for God's sake. I could even probably give you some free marital advice. Again, I'm only taking on 15 people. So there's a number down below. I want you to text that number, free call. Let's schedule a call. Let's see what we can do to help each other win. And as always, let's make it a great day. Hospital for 10 days. I didn't know if I was going to make it. The doctor told me, Dave, if it wasn't for you being physically fit, you probably wouldn't see your grandchildren. That hit home. That was my payday. That was my payday for I got an extra chance at life because I was physically fit. So let's break this down. You're in sales. You want more out of life, right? I hope, I hope the answer is yes. If you want more out of life and you want more out of sales, you want to be a better husband, you want to be a better girlfriend, you want to be a better whatever it may be, you have to feel good about yourself. Now, when you look in the mirror and you don't like what you see, then that means you have a problem. This is where you're going to need to break down what it is you do on a daily basis. Now, this is the work part. So some of you, that don't want to do the work, go ahead and go on to the next video because you're not going to like what I have to say. It's going to take everything within your reason to be able to perform at this higher level. Getting good sleep. Some people are like, ah, oh, I just need my four or five hours. Listen, that's bullshit. You need sleep. Sleep is a magical elixir that for years, I thought the experts were full of it. But until I started getting seven, eight hours of sleep every night, my body started to change. It started to regenerate. It started to feel good in the morning. Okay, sleep. Food, what you put in your mouth. Here's the thing. 
food is a drug. Okay? There's a lot of processed foods out there. There's a lot of foods that are bad for you. I'm not going to go down a nutrition class here, but let's face it. You need to eat well-balanced meals, a carb, a vegetable, a protein. If you really want to get serious, get with a nutritionist or even a trainer to help guide you through what that looks like in terms of how it is to eat healthy. One thing that my wife and I do, we make sure that we don't eat after six, seven o'clock at night because anything that happens after that time of night, it's crappy junk food. And that's been one thing that's really helped us out. Another good point, working out, you gotta pick up weights. Like I said, I mean, come on, you know? There you go, that's, that's almost 57 right there. If some of you are looking at yourself going, oh man, I'm kind of flabby, I'm a little this, you gotta hit the weights. You gotta go in the gym and hit the weights. That's super important. I go three, four times a week, and I'm only in there for 45 minutes to an hour. That's it, okay? Another good one is cardio. You gotta get out. Get outside. If you're in a position to where the weather's too crappy and you can't get outside, well, guess what? There's treadmills, there's stationary bikes. If you live in an area where you can get out and enjoy the outdoors, get the sun on your face, definitely, definitely take advantage of that because cardio, gotta keep the ticker going, okay? Again, remember now, these are things that help me survive my bad uh, little bout with COVID when I was in the hospital. And if I wouldn't have done all these things prior to that, I probably wouldn't be here talking to you right now. Sleep, eating healthy, exercise with weights, doing cardio, these are all the things that you need to do to be able to perform at a high level. So now when your stress levels start to rise, guess what? You're physically fit. You can handle it to be able to go on to the next day and the next day after that. You must understand this is the work part. Well, Dave, I don't want to do it because, you know, I got, I, I'm fine in sales. Great. What could you do if you're physically fit and felt good about yourself when people, when you go to shake their hands, they're like, holy shit, you must work out. You're, you're a pretty fit guy. Yeah, imagine what I do for my clients because I'm not afraid of anyone. I'll get in there and go toe to toe to do whatever it takes to take care of my clients. You want to walk the walk and talk the talk. I've seen a lot of salespeople that are overweight and just because they do a lot of sales, they feel that they can leave their, their physical body and their appearance to meh. It doesn't work that way. You want to be the full rounded package to be able to serve your clients, serve your family, and of course, serve yourself at the highest level. Now again, I am not a trainer. I'm not a nutritionist. I'm not a sleep expert. But these are some of the key elements that you need to look in the mirror and you need to look in the mirror and say, do I look the best I can look? because that's what your client sees. Again, if you thought this was helpful, or you have some tidbits, you wanna say, Dave, you're wrong. I can be fat and I can do sales. Well, guess what? Let's have a conversation. There's a couple links below. Reach out to me. I'd love to have a conversation with you. And as always, let's make it a great day.